Now that we have all the walls for the ground floor, it's time to start adding some slabs. So let's go to the slab tool here on the toolbox. I'm going to click on it and press Command T or Control T to go to the settings dialog. So as you can see, it's very similar to the walls. I'm going to minimize everything I don't need here right now. And let's do geometry and positioning. Just like the walls, you can choose between generic or composite slab type. Again, we're doing a schematic design, so we don't want to know what's the buildup of the slab yet. So let's choose a generic slab, make it simple. And also let's stick to a generic material. So I'm going to choose a generic structural material. Here you can choose the thickness of the slab and the height to the floor that we are right now. So we are at the current floor and the top of the slab, as you can see here in the arrows, the top of the slab, it's at the level zero compared to our current floor. You can also add an angle to the edge of the slab. Let's keep it straight for now. And you can also change the reference plane of the slab. So for instance, if I move here the reference plane for below, you can see the arrow here has changed. And now the bottom of the slab is zero, which is not what I want. I'm going to go back here to reference plane on the top of the slab. Let's press OK and let's draw the slab. You can choose different methods of drawing this slab. You can choose a rectangular or polygonal. Let's keep it rectangular now and let's add a slab from this point to this point. So as you can see, we have the outline of the slab. So now we can go ahead, select it and start editing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is start shaping the slab. So I'm going to click here in one of the edges. And here on the pet palette, many options appear for me, including offset one edge, offset many edge, those that you already know. But what I need right now is to add a new node. So I'm going to click on adding new node here, and I'm going to add one node on this point, another node on that part. Now I can click on this edge and offset one edge inside. So I'm following the shape of the wall. I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to click on add one node here, add another whole node here. And instead of offsetting the edge, I'm just going to keep on adding new points. So like this, we are shaping this lab to the walls. Again, I'm going to add here and add another one here. Let's click again on one of the edges here. And we have two options that we use quite a lot. One is to add a geometry. So let's say we want to add a part of this lab. Sorry, let's click it again, add the geometry. And we add one part, which I don't want. So I'm going to undo. And you can also use the one next to it to remove one part of this lab. So subtract from polygon, I'm going to click on it. Now I'm going to change the geometry method from rectangular to polygonal. And I'm going to draw here the hole for the staircase. So I'm going to click on this point, go to the left and type the size of the hole. So it's 3700 this size, three meters on this side. And conclude. So that's how we add a hole to this lab. So let's go in the 3D and check how it's looking. I'm going to go here, orbit a little bit. And as you can see, we have a hole for this lab there. I'm going to press F2, go back to the floor plan. I'm going to add a new slab here. But at this time, I'm going to go to the settings, Control T, and I'm going to change the thickness to 250 and the position of this lab minus 50. So I want it a little bit below than the previous one, but the bottom of them should be aligned because it's a thinner slab. Press OK. I'm going to make sure I have the polygonal geometry method so I can draw point by point. And I'm going to draw here my other slab. So one point after the other. Go all the way here. Now I'm going to hold shift. So I lock the direction of the slab. Click here. And go back to the initial point to close the slab. So again, let's take a look on the 3D. So I'm going to use the F3 key to go back to the 3D. And as you can see, we are 50 millimeters below the other slab, which is what we wanted.
So I'm gonna press F2 to go back to the floor plan. And now that we know how to make slabs, we can go and finish doing the other pieces of slabs here and we can move on to the next item.